What about Neek's return, man? Real quick, Neek, tell the people at home, rehab's one thing, treadmill, Stairmaster, you know, you're training with the bands and all that stuff. But you were 13 for 26. When did you realize that, you know what, I'm back. It doesn't hurt anymore. It's not stiff. Let me go out there and play my game. And I think that's what people are waiting for with Kobe. Because we know Kobe's been working hard. We know he's been lifting weights. We know he's been in the pool. But when is it when you're on that court, you make that move, you're like, oh, it doesn't hurt anymore. I can go all out now. You know what the thing is? You feel great mm -hmm. when you come back. But it's not until you get into competition where you get your first bump. I remember getting hit in the air, and I came down and immediately grabbed my leg. I'm like, wait a minute. There's no pain. It was all in my head. But once I got over that, I said, you know what? I'm going full tilt. And whatever happens, happens. But I'm going to go out on my own terms. So I had to totally block it out of my mind. And once I blocked it out, it was, it was old Venice Dominique. I mean, I came back playing the game on the ground as well as in the air. Came more fundamentally sound. So I had that explosiveness and the basketball skill to go with that. Check out these numbers right here. Pre-injury. At the age of 32, he had played 100 and, uh, 810 games, over 30,000 minutes, with an average of 26.2. Well, how about the return from Achilles season? 29.9. How do you go up almost four PPG after the Achilles injury? I'm going to tell you what happened. I'm going to tell you the truth. You know, really... I wanted to prove all the doubters wrong because when I tore my Achilles tendon at 32, I got these sarcastic pats on the back. Oh, okay, Nick, we hope anymore. you come back, you know, <laughs> and, and I knew that they thought my career was over. But I worked twice a day, every day for nine months. I mean, I work harder than anybody could work at getting back from an injury. So in doing that, I knew once I returned to the court that physically, I was going to be ready to go. It was just the mental part where I had to get over. But once the physical part and I was, I was training, I was doing the things I used to do, mm -hmm. I said, not only am I going to come back and be pretty good, I'm going to be an all-star. Mm. And people was, looked at me like I was crazy. And I proved them all wrong. I averaged almost 30 points a game that year. That's what the great ones hey, do. Phenomenal. And, and I remember going, watching him go through that period and what he said, more fundamentally sound. He's always jumped am amongst the stars in the clouds getting to the free throw line, the mid-range jump shot, and then once he got that confidence back of I can still dunk on people, then he went back to dunking on people. Now, you know again. what, it, it made me, even though I had the skills as a basketball player, I even became more of that because I didn't just rely on playing the game above the rim. Even though I had the mid-range, the off-the-dribble, post-up, go to the line. <laughs> what else? A lot of people, and I tell people all the time, it's hard to score over 26,000 points on dunks. Right, You know, That's I right. had games where I scored 40 and then had but one or two dunks in the game. So... When I tore my Achilles, that made me more of a grounded basketball player as well as an aerial acrobatic, you know. Mm -hmm. Can't wait to see what Kobe Bryant has in store for us basketball fans Ooh. Sunday night.